Hi, this is our Good Friday service here at Anoka Covenant Church. I'm glad you're a part of it, and I welcome you to worship God with us. We are going to uh, have some other people a part of this service today, and I want to encourage you to hear the words that they uh, sing in songs, and then you'll come back and see me a little later on with a, a short message. When I survey the wondrous cross. Hey, sing with me from home. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of when they crucified my Lord.
sacred head now wounded with grief and shame weighed down now scornfully surrounded with thorns thine only crown oh sacred head what glory what bliss till now was thine yet though despised and gory I joy to call thee mine what thou my Lord hast suffered was all for sinners gain mine mine was the transgression but thine the deadly pain. Lo, here I fall, my Savior, tis I deserve thy place. Look on me with thy favor, vouchsafe me to thy grace. What language shall I borrow? thy dying sorrow, thy pity without end, oh make me thine forever, and should I fainting be, Lord let me never, never, I'd live my love to Well, welcome back. I appreciate hearing those songs, and I want you to hear these words from John chapter 13, starting with verse 17. So they took Jesus away, carried the cross by, carrying the cross by himself. He went to the place called Golgotha. There they nailed him to the cross. Two others were crucified with him one on the other side with Jesus between them. The pilot posted a sign on the cross that read, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews, the place where Jesus was crucified, was near the city, and the sign was written in Hebrew, Latin, and Greek so that many people could read it. Then the leading priests objected and said to Pilate, Change it from the King of the Jews to he said, I am king of the Jews. Pilate said, No, what I have written, I have written. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they divided his clothes among the four of them. They also took his robe, but it was seamless, woven in one piece from top to bottom. So they said, Rather than tearing it apart, let's throw dice for it. This fulfilled the scripture that says, They divided my garment among themselves and threw dice for my clothing. So that is what they did. Standing near the cross where Jesus' mother and his mother's sister Mary and Mary Magdalene, when Jesus saw his mother standing there besides the disciple he loved, he said to her, Dear woman, here is your son. And he said to this disciple, Here is your mother. And from then on his disciple took her into his home. Jesus knew that his mission was now finished to fulfill scripture. He said, I am thirsty. A jar of sour wine was sitting there. So they soaked a sponge in it, put on a hyssop branch, and held it up to his lips. When Jesus had tasted, he said, It is finished. Then he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Well, today as we hear those words, we realize that Jesus knew what he was about. Jesus knew the importance of what he was doing. And he knew when it was finished. He knew all that he had done and the ways in which he had fulfilled scripture. Today, as we realize this day being Good Friday, we understand more and more that God is a God who has so many things for us. And that we today need to remember again 
that God forgave us of our sins by his death on the cross. He paid the ultimate price for us, for we deserved to be on that cross. We deserve to be the one who is crucified on that cross. And I encourage you today to think about and be thankful for what God has done for you and for me to realize that he sent his one and only son, Jesus Christ to earth so that he could be our Passover lamb, our, our, our sacrificial lamb for us. And today, as we realize this day, Good Friday, we realize that God loved us to the full extent, as we heard yesterday in our um, live uh, Facebook, we saw that God, did, to the full extent, he loved us. He showed his love for us and that he was willing to do all for us. And that all he asks in return is that we accept and believe and celebrate that love that he has for us. And today we are saddened by what Jesus went through. We are saddened by the way in which he was treated. We are saddened by his the injustice that happened in this world. But yet we are joyful that he was willing to do it for us. We are happy that he cared enough for us that he was willing to give to the full extent of his life for us. But also remember again, he knew everything there was. He knew what he was doing and he did it willingly because he wanted to obey God the Father in heaven. And I thank you, Jesus, today for being willing to die for us. And today as we have seen those words and hear these words, may you be encouraged in your faith that God is a God that continually gives of himself so that you will come and be with him. He's like the parable father who, who continually welcomes back. He gives, gives back to his son even though his son doesn't deserve it. That he loved his son so much that he's willing to do anything for him. And that's what Jesus did for us. He gave of his life. And that is a great celebration. Thanks for listening today. I'm, I, we're going to close with one more video of uh, somebody singing a song for us now. And I, and I appreciate this time. Let's sing the old rugged cross. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross the emblem of suffering and shame. How I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown oh, that old rugged cross so despised by the world has a wondrous attraction for me for the dear Lamb of God left his glory above to bear it to dark Calvary. And I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. In the old rugged cross stained with blood so divine a wondrous beauty I see. For it was on that old cross Jesus suffered and died to pardon and sanctify me. And I'll cherish the old 
rugged cross Till my trophies at last I lay down I will cling to the old rugged cross And exchange it someday for a crown Well, in closing, I would like to leave us with this scripture from the end of John chapter 13 that says, After Joseph of Arimathea, who had been a secret disciple of Jesus, because he feared the Jewish leaders, asked Pilate for permission to take down Jesus' body. When Pilate gave permission, Joseph came and took the body away, and with him came Nicodemus, the man who had come to Jesus at night. He bought about 75 pounds of perfume anoint, uh, ointment made from myrrh and aloe following Jewish burial customs. They wrapped Jesus' body with the sp spices in long sheets of linen cloth. The place of crucifixion was near a garden where they there was a new tomb never used before. And so before it was the day of preparation for the Jewish Passover and since the tomb was closed at hand, they laid Jesus there. May you go from this place knowing that God is with you and he is for you. He is not against you as you acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. Amen.